All right, welcome to All Line Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop wonderful videos, answer videos. So let's dive into today's challenge. The question says, x to the power of y equal to y to the power of x. What then will be the value of x and also y? So we take down our question, which is x to the power of y equal to y to the power of x. From this, what if I decide to say, let y equal to px. So from here, I can say here, let y equal to px. So wherever we see y, we put in the value px. So with that, this will now become your x to the power of px equal to your px to the power of x. All right. From here, what if I decide to square, take the square root of both sides again? So from here, now say take the square root, the square root of both sides. If I do that, let's proceed from here. This will give me something of this kind. So we're going to have here x, which is this to the power of px, r square root equal to, here we have here, bracket open px, r to the power of x, square root. Okay, any confusion? No, we proceed again. This square root symbol can also be interpreted or can also be written as x to the power of px or in bracket to one all over two equal to bracket px then to the power of x times the power of one all over two. Hmm. Seriously? Yeah. So, what if I decide to use the power here to open this power according to the law of indices, which says that if you have, for instance, you have a to the power of m, then bracket open n. This is same thing as a to the power of m n. So, this is the power. I can only use this power to open this. I can only use dx power to open this too. So if I do this, dx will give me x, okay, for the power of p x all over 2 or equal to, from here, dx other part will give me p x all to the power of x all over 2. Wow. Now that we're having x all over 2 as a power, I can equally manipulate x all over 2 from this other side. So if I do this, this will now become x to the power of p, bracket open, x all over 2 equal to px to the power of x all over 2. A very sweet trick has already emerged. What is it? Look at the powers. The powers are the same. This is s all over 2. This is x all over 2. Okay? So since the powers are the same, then I can equate the base. Okay? So if I equate the base, this goes to give me x to the power of p equal to p x. Very nice now. Okay. Whew. Okay? So let's continue again. We are having x to the power of p here, okay? This is power of p, and we're having px. What if I decide to divide all through by x? So dx, and I'll say divide through, and I'll say divide through, divide through by x. So let's divide through by x and see what that gives us. From here, we proceed again. Mm. So, 
this automatically will give us x to the power of p all over x or equal to p x all over x very sweet now so from here this and this will leave the system we apply the law of indices which is the division law and it says that if you have a to the power of m dividing a to the power of n this will give us a to the power of m minus n so if we bring this here this very expression into this automatically this is going to give us here x to the power of p the power of x here is one so minus one equal to p so therefore our p equal to x to the power of p minus one very nice so from here look at this p minus one as a power if i want to get x here then i can multiply by the inverse of this power so if i multiply the power of p and the power of x to the power of p minus one by the inverse of this power this is going to give me something like this so it's going to give me p to the power of one all over p minus one let me put this in bracket okay equal to x to the power of p minus one times one all over p minus one okay uh, let me express it in a better form it's going to give me x to the power of p minus one or into one all over p minus one good so from here dix we take care of dix okay so x will not be exposed so when i have x equal to p to the power of one all over p minus one we have succeeded in solving for our x so take note of this now that we've gotten our x to be this we can go ahead and look for our y from here we now recall from where we said recall where we said y equal to p x okay so let's take the last lap of x we proceed again so if you recall we said let y is equals to p x so if we go back and look for our y so this will not give us here therefore y equal to look at our x already here now so we have to replace our x with this entity here okay so this will now give us p dot p one all over p minus one hmm this is another product law in indices again so the power of p here is one so the law says that when you have m sorry a to the power of m dot a to the power of n this is a to the power of m plus n recall yeah because i produced a video on the laws of indices it's showing up here you can equally watch that okay it's showing up here okay so let's proceed but before we proceed again i want to remind you if you've not subscribed kindly subscribe to this channel because we drop new videos every day okay when you subscribe turn on the bell notification button so that youtube can notify you whenever we drop a very nice video like the one you're watching right now so let's go back again so if we apply that law this automatically will give us y equal to p to one all over p minus one plus one so if we do this manipulation we have p is equals to sorry y is equals to p into one plus p minus one all over p minus one okay 
So it's just a little simplification I just carried out here now. So from here, this, we go with this. So therefore, Ry, we are now left with P to the power of P all over P minus 1. Hmm. So this x the possible expression for your y. Okay, now that we have these two expressions for x and y, this is our x, this is our y. We can go ahead and verify this. But if we decide to take our p to be 5, if we assume that if um, p equal to 5, let's look at it and see what will become of our two expressions here. If p is equal to 5, then x automatically from here is going to give us here um, p to the power of 1 all over p minus 1, which is equal to, we have here 5 to the power of 1 all over 5 minus 1, which is equal to 5 to the power of 1 all over 4 which is the fourth root. So from here, this can equally give us here the fourth root of 5. So we can say there for x, from here we give us this. Okay, if we go ahead to substitute that into the place of y, at the same time, this for y we give us here, y equal to our formula for y, we said is p to the power of p all over p minus 1. So wherever we see p, let's put in 5 there. This will give us here 5 to the power of 5 all over 5 minus 1, which is equal to 5 to the power of 5 all over 4. So if we do this critically, this will give us here um, the fourth root. Okay, the fourth root of 5 all to the power of 5. So this, therefore, would be the value for our y and this for our p. Okay, so if you gain any value from our videos, kindly give the video a thumbs up. Or you have any question with regard to this survey, also drop it in the comment section. Okay, I and my team, we are very good at reply your comment. Remember, this is all I mass TV. Jake's loves you. All I Mass TV loves you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being there. God bless you. Bye for now.